Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of my Derby career. And this is episode two. Hopefully, you did enjoy the first episode. I would not know yet, as as you can tell, I'm wearing the same shirts because I'm recording this straight after the first one. Because tomorrow I'm going to my dad's house, so I don't have any time to record the second episode. So I'm going to have to do it now. So you guys can watch the Derby career mode, you know, daily. That's what I want. So uh, today we're starting with an away game to Rotherham in the Carabao Cup League Cup, and I'm not interested in this. I'm just going to field my resies for this. Uh, see how they do. I'm not expecting too much. If we get knocked out, we get knocked out. But it's just a run out for the lads. Let's see. Let's sim. And we've won 2 0. Winnell gets on the score sheet and Johnny Russell. Well, hello. That is, that's better than I expected, to be fair. It's good. So we've progressed in the League Cup. I'll continue to feel my resis, though. Just give him a better playtime. As you can see, we're bottom of the league. <laughs> Brilliant. And he's gone to Huddersfield. And we've got an offer from Stard René for Fozzy. And I'm not I'm not keen on him, so I'm just going to accept it straight away. I don't think he'll go because the wages and that, but we can at least hope. Millwall have offered for him as well, so Millwall have offered more, so I'm going to accept that as well. Hopefully he goes to Millwall. All right, lads, so we've got the game against uh, Wolves at Pride Park, and I've made three changes. I've brought in uh, Ledley for... Huddleston as I just feel we need like that bite in the middle of the park. Nugent didn't really do much against Sunderland. Winnell hit the post. So I'm putting Winnell up front and at left back, Olsen, he just kept giving the ball away. So I'm going to try low the youngster and see how he does. So let's get into it now. And this is how Wolves line up. So they're going with a 3-5-2 or 5-2-3, however you want to say it. Obviously they've got wing backs, so... Carl Akimi is playing. Obviously, at the moment, he's out with leukemia. Barry Douglas, former Lech Poznan. Uh, Willie Bowley, Miranda, Danny Bart, uh, Matt Doherty, Alfred and Dye, Ruben Neves, obviously the record signing. Diego Jota, Leo Bonatini, Helder Costa. I'm surprised Danny Bart's starting because the captain at the moment is kind of Cody Inti. He's keeping Danny Bart at the team. I'm hoping for a better showing than we did against Sunderland at home, obviously. And if you didn't know, uh, I changed Madison's number from 13 to 11. So Darren Bent is, I don't know, gone, up, gone to like 38. Whoa, we kept that in? I didn't know. Ruben Neves, go on. No, 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 no. Don't go, don't score. Carson, good save. I literally... I, I read that and I still couldn't get there. Neves, he's played it to Bonatini and somehow it's evaded the goal. Bonatini's shot was going in, but Richard Keogh, our captain, put a foot in and literally sent it past the post. Oh no, Madison. Go on to Winnell. Vidra, run. He's running. Mate. Madison. Madison. It's opened up. Go on. Who else but Marcus Madison? He's literally he's done the Ronaldo celebration. That's how highly he thinks of himself, bless him. But I I wasn't confident in scoring that. But Marcus Madison uh, puts us one 0 up against Wolves. Ledley, see that's exactly what I mean. That bite, that ball winning midfielder we need. Right, we've done that. Thorn, Winnell, Madison. Them three have some really good link up play. Vidra. Oh my word, that was such a beautiful goal. I don't know why I keep like leaning back and grabbing my head, but that. The link-up play between Winnell, Vidra and Madison is absolutely unreal. Madison, one goal, one assist in two games. It's quite good, isn't it? Like, it's a good finish by Vidra as well. Drilled low, hard into the corner. 2-0. No, Bonatini. Harder Costa, Ledley, straight to Bonatini. Get that out, get that out! And they've pulled one back. So, uh, that was shambolic, whatever it was. You could tell it's Derby playing because that defending was woeful. Leo, Leo Bonatini brings them back into the game. Look, he had a shot, Carson saved it. Jota played it back in. No one did anything about it and Bonatini just squeezes the ball home. Thorn, here we go. Wisdom, play that. Madison runs into the open space. Can he pick out Lawrence running in? Go on, here we go. Triple to Lawrence. To Vidra. Go on, then. Oh, Carl Akimi, what a save. And die. Literally, I'm just trying to... They've got a really, really good position for a free kick. Hopefully, they don't score from this. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't expect that. And Barry Douglas equalises. Shit. I was expecting Barry Douglas to lay it off, so I didn't jump. 
Martin somehow almost won that. He didn't, though. And there's the final. With two goal lead, we bottled it. Uh, same amount of points, funnily enough, at this stage in the game as we had in real life, but that's not very good. But Marcus Madison, 9.3, I was very impressed with him. Four sap. Wait, 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 what? He didn't want to go four sap, apparently, and I just. I skipped that, but is four sap gone? He actually has. So we've sold four sap, lads. That was very anticlimactic. Apparently, he didn't want to relocate or agree terms, but he eventually did. So we're using almost the same team, apart from Thorne is coming out for Johnson as we're at home, and Preston. In real life, they're actually alright, Preston. This season, they're doing really well, but um, I just feel like. Johnson's more attacking than Thorne, so I just need to win this game and make sure we win. Chris Maxwell in goal, couldn't save a penalty against us. Greg Cunningham, Clark, Paul Huntington, Woods, I don't know who that is, Welsh, sorry. And uh, Ben Pearson, Daryl Horgan, Muhlenstein, Barkhausen and Hugh Gill. Passing needs to be better, but go on. Go on. What is that? That is literally, they're so, they get the ball and they're so sluggish. The first touch is awful. Here we go, Huddleston, Vidra, last chance at game, just have a pop, you might as well, and that was the best chance of the half, last chance, just no hope, so I had a shot, Bradley Johnson, Bradley Johnson, he's going all the way, and he literally pulls it wide, how shit are you Bradley Johnson, Johnson's one header, there we go, can we capitalise from this, David Nugent, runs past his man, David Nugent, he's literally got no one in the box, to Vidra. Oh my word. Alright. I will take that. I, I was getting aggy, lads. Because I knew that the summit was not clicking. But somehow, the man in real life that won us the game, Vidra, comes up with the goods. Gallagher. Now, don't concede, lads. Let's keep it realistic. By winning 1-0. Just as I said that. Oh! There's only one man taking this free kick. And that is Mate. If Mate slots this, if Mate slots this away, I'm getting a tattoo of him on my ass. Straight keeper. No, Huddleston, that's yours. Play it, play it. Vidra, good, good. Keep it, Johnny. Go on to Nuge. Have a crack, Bradley. And there we go. He kills the game off. We, we've won it. We've won it. My decision has paid off. Bradley Johnson. Over Thorn, because I, I, I told you, I just, he has that in him, that special, you know, long distance goal, and that's exactly what he's done. We was under the cosh a bit there at the end, but Bradley Johnson fires a missile into the back of the net and wins it for us. And there we go, our first win of the season. Thank God it was nerve-wracking, but realistic form to real life, eh, literally. Exact same three, we've got the exact points as we've got, like, in the first three games of this season. We won this, obviously, if... Bradley Johnson didn't score. It'd be the exact same result with Vidra scoring. Chris Baird is wanted by Bolton and they're not having him because he's just a very good professional, like I said. Andreas Feynman to Ipswich for 1.1 mil. He's valued at 1 mil. Please go. I'm going to try and loan Akpom because it's just like we need some pace up top and we don't always have it. So I'm going to hope and try and get him on a loan. Just a one-year loan for Akpom, please. Arson. Sure. Hopefully that Akpom accepts this loan because he's gone to Brighton last year or two years ago. Alright, yeah, whatever. I could do that. Yeah, just 10 grand. That sounds fair. I'm trying to just steamroll through this because I'm trying to get into the next game. No, he's not decided yet, Akpom. But basically, lads, at minute, we're 12th in league. In that second half, lads, I've uh, changed to 4-4-2. Brought Nugent and Russell on because Winnell and... Lawrence were just not cutting it, and they played really well, so they keep their places. Olsen played well, but I'm going to bring in Lowe because he's a youngster. I want him to be my main left-back for the future. Johnson keeps his place because he was good uh, above Thorne. And Huddleston gets swapped for Ledley because Huddleston's stamina is awful. Let's go. So this is Bolton's team again with a 5-3-2. Uh, this is a proper 5-3-2. It's a Sneger, uh, goalkeeper, Andrew Taylor... David, Derek, I'm guessing, at centre-centre-back. David Wheater, Marcus Little, Yem Karakan, uh, Josh Vela, Prattley, Lafondra and Adam Armstrong. I'm a big fan of Adam Armstrong, so I'm going to watch out for him in this game because I might want him in future. Vidra, Johnson have a shot. Sisniga saves again. Adam Lafondra's bearing down on goal. 
try and do something about this. Oh, he's whipped it. And Andrew Taylor puts Bolton 1-0 up. I thought we might have just found a good formula for winning against Preston. And here I am, 1-0 down to Bolton. Here we are, Vidra. On running, Curtis Davis finish. Curtis Davis is better at finishing than Chris Martin. Point proven, lads. I, he literally just made an on-running run. If that, that, it doesn't even make sense. He just made a run. And he buried it. Fair enough to him. Good luck, Curtis. Johnson. Madison. Vidra. Johnson. Oh, that's Tiki Taka. Shoot. Now that is what you call a very, very nice Peach. That was some tiki taka followed by an absolute strike from David Nugent, and that's why they're celebrating that much. And he pauses in front. Play it through, Dave. Vids. Ref. Go on. Whip it back, stick. David's won it. Madison. He's put it in. Marcus Madison. Ronaldo celebration. He is quality, I'm telling you. <laughs> I can't even explain it. Lendy headed it down to him. He took it down like a mong. But the finish on the turn. Send the keeper the wrong way. It was all planned, I'm telling you. Vidra. Nugent. Vidra. Back to Nuge. Nuge, finish. Oh, off the post. Oh, lovely ball. That is quality. And Johnny Russell can get Derby's fourth. Finish it, Johnny. He does. I was quiet because I just wasn't expecting a pass of that quality to go through. But it did. And Johnny grabs our fourth and we're running away with it now. Taylor whips it in. And Armstrong off the bar. Low heads it away, barely. Find Lawrence. Lawrence. Go on. Get the fifth. Get the fifth. Off the post. Are you mad? Vidra. Nugent, finish him. Hat trick. Am I right? No, I don't. I don't know. We we dispossessed it. Vidra got, gets an assist. Very decent. Make it five one. I don't think that's Nugent's hat trick though, is it? No, it's not. It's his second of the game. Yeah. Oh, suicidal from Bolton. Oh my word. I, 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 that is my reaction to that goal. Jem or Jem Karakan scores an absolute blinder. But it means nothing. But there we go, guys. So Bolton scored first, then we scored five, and they scored another. I'm happy that it's a shame that we conceded two goals and two shots on target. There we go. It's true. Mill will have signed Fozzy, as you can see there. Confirmation. Right. So this time, lads, Akpom has decided to come to our club for one year. I'll leave you to it, guys. If you want me to sell Johnson now and bring in Keefton Bold now, comment that. And, um, or if you want to keep Johnson, based on what you've seen in these first two episodes, just comment it below and I'll leave that with you guys. Right, I've got 27 million, and it's not that I don't want to sign players. It's I do, but I don't feel like it's necessary because like this team doesn't need much improving. Until I get to the Premier League, obviously. So, uh, But if you do want me to sign someone that is fairly realistic with Derby, make sure you comment that below, and I might sign him in the next episode, as we've got a deadline day, so I'll read through the comments until then. Hope you did enjoy this episode. This was Shimon. I'm going to see you guys later, and peace out.